Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Stan Gross. I'm the president and co-founder of Sano Global Nutrition. Today, we're going to talk about our best Garcinia. A lot of controversy regarding this. And let's talk about the truth about Garcinia and how it works and how it really works, okay? Everyone's looking for a magic pill. Everyone's dying to find something that's going to help them lose weight magically without any e effort, no exercise, no special dietary consideration, and it doesn't exist. It just doesn't. There was a great promise with Garcinia, and there was some basis in fact behind it, but it's not a miracle pill. It does require some effort. So... Every day there's a new concoction. You, you can take ginger. You can mix lemon with honey and vinegar. And you can get this youthful glow and wonderful body and burn away fat while you sleep. I don't know if you tried that or not, but it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. We really have to make an effort here. So, why do most people fail to lose weight with Garcinia? Cambogia, well... Pretty simple. It takes an effort and it, just a few simple things. Weight Management University is built behind that. And here's the, here's the thing. What works for this person may not work for this person, may not work for this person. But there are common, common elements to weight management that exist for every human on the planet. Losing weight is a mind game. Change your mind, change your body. Weight loss begins between the ears. It's a mental thing. And what do I mean by that? Well, it starts with a commitment. A commitment to yourself. You can't do this and you can't change anything in your body without making that commitment to yourself. You can't do it for other people. You can't do it to look good for other people. You have to do it for yourself to feel healthier, to look better, to feel better about yourself physically, mentally, emotionally. That's what this is all about. It's about wellness, and that's what wellness is. So it starts by adding living healthy foods. Do I mean living on rabbit food? No. No, in fact, I'm, I'm talking about expanding your food variety. Most people, especially most Americans and Europeans, eat the same 10 or 12 foods over and over and over and over again. I am strongly, strongly asking you to expand your diet. Include things that you've never tasted, never had before. You'll thank me for this. Eating right means choosing healthy choices, going as organic as possible. Not just fruits and vegetables. If you are omnivorous in your choices, meaning that you eat meat in your diet, that's fine. But choose the healthiest sources. Choose organic sources. Choose, you know, grass-fed sources. Choose foods that have not been contaminated with chemicals. It just makes sense, okay? It's common sense. In the beginning, it was radical thinking. Not anymore. Now it's common sense. <laughs> and I love this picture. Cheating is expected. Now, this is what I mean by that. You've been real good through the week, right? You've eaten all these healthy things and maybe slipped up every once in a while here and there, but one day... You get to go out with your friends and have pizza. Or it's a birthday party and they're going to have double Dutch chocolate cake. Whatever it is, whatever comes in that line, have some. Bless it. Enjoy it. Don't feel guilty. Don't stress out about it. Because, you see, now you're doing the way slender people, the way skinny people do it. They enjoy it. And they don't get heavy, and they, they don't lose their vibrance and their health because 
the chocolate cake isn't a way of life for them. It's a treat once in a while. So, yeah, don't beat yourself up over cheating, okay? Be like this baby. But why? Well, simple. We don't want wellness to make us antisocial. We don't want to be in a position where our lifestyle choice shuns us from being around other people. So don't make your lifestyle a punishment to yourself and other people. Just do it, and then every once in a while, have fun. Don't worry about it. Don't stress over it, okay? Exercise. We need to do it. I love this picture. There's an escalator and there's steps up the middle. What people do, they're going to take the escalator. I guess they figured they'll exercise in the building. Everyone needs to get serious about exercise, seriously. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. If I told you that there were like, you know, a hundred and almost 170 hours in a week that you could dedicate to something, be it sleep, be it work, be it play, whatever, and I wanted you to dedicate 2% of that, or let's go 3%, let's stretch it. That's three to four hours a week that I would want you to dedicate toward exercise. You can do this. There are no excuses. There are no excuses. Train hard because your friends will be jealous of your powerful girlfriend. <laughs> I love that. That's not why you should do it, though. You should exercise because muscles are the motor, the engine behind metabolism. It's what drives your body to a higher level of performance. It's where you want to be. So make exercise an essential part of your routine. And getting some sleep. Getting a lot of appropriate sleep. If you're not getting a good, decent amount of sleep, six, seven, eight hours, you know, and some people need nine. You know, if you need that, get that. And if you're not, let's find out why. That's important. We actually lose weight. We actually burn fat when we sleep. Did you know that? It's true. We gain muscle when we sleep, too, if we've exercised. The only way you gain muscle is through exercise. But if, if in between your ex exercises, if you built up that energy, that muscle energy, that hy hypertonicity, then you actually gain muscle when you sleep. Isn't that neat? So, how does Garcinia fit in? You know, I remember the Senate hearings when uh, Dr. Oz was in front of them and he was sweating bullets because he was trying to explain to these people who had no concept or idea of nutrition how this stuff actually works. And he faltered a little bit because he tried to simplify how Garcinia works. Well, Garcinia is actually derived from tamarind fruit. Tamarind is a fruit that grows in India and all of uh, South and Southeast Asia. And at first glance, you look at it, and it looks like what? It looks like beans, doesn't it? It looks like peas in a pod, except they're, they're kind of red-colored. Well, guess what? They're part of the same family. Even though they grow on a, a, a tree-like bush thing, as opposed to vines, or underground like peanuts, this is also considered part of the legume family. Except they have this sweet, tart flavor. It's almost difficult to describe. You first bite into it and go, wow, that's sour. It's, it's not bitter, it's sour. And then it's got a sweet aftertaste. And it's almost addictive. And as you see and you look at it, you can tell it's what? It's fibrous. Just like every legume that was ever grown on the earth, it's full of fiber. Now, that's important because of the type of fiber that is available in Garcinia. This is kind of a long thing to read, but let's, let's get down to it. And this comes from uh, the, the MedMD and WebMD. It's also under 
uh, Dr. Marcola's, Joseph Marcola's site. And it's known to be useful in traditional medicine for diabetes and obesity. They wrote this. Extract underwent examination to see if high levels of the polyphenols, we're talking about the antioxidants here, would have an influence on glucose uptake in such patients, a positive expression, blah, 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 it was an anti-diabetic effect that took place. In other words, it helped the body to regulate sugar uptake. That's powerful. In another study, it talks about the phytochemical reactions, uh, that it was extremely powerful in reducing abdominal pain and helping with digestion. It helped clear diarrhea and dysentery, which is fairly common in South in Southeast Asia because of what? Contaminated water. It was great for treating infections, fever, constipation, inflammation, gonorrhea. Really, that's bacterial. Eye diseases. Listen to all the things that, that are associated with tamarind. So it's antimicrobial, anti-venom almost anti-everything that you would find. The same description comes in with anything that has high antioxidation effect on the body. Then we're talking about geraniol. is one of the phytochemicals found in tamarind. It's partially responsible for suppressing pancreatic tumor growth. Not just that. It increases tumor necrotic effect. Uh, tumor necrotic factor, TNF, is responsible for the reduction of both cancerous and non-cancerous tumors in mammals. Jerno is one of the chemicals that are found in some of the most powerful antioxidants. The most powerful antioxidant on the planet, by the way, is cinnamon oil extract. It's over a million on the Orex kit. Problem is, if you take it in, it's also an emetic. It makes you throw up. In this particular case, it eases digestion, so it helps keep the antioxidant stable in the digestive system, so it's taken up into the bloodstream. This is a powerful plant. Our Best Garcinia is derived from pure tamarind extract. Nothing more. But it's very, very clean. And it's extremely pure in how it's been extracted. And therefore, the dosage levels that we're looking at and what are recommended are based upon that purity level. So, very simply, I won't go into this in great detail. If you're looking at the amylase, the coating inside the intestines, and this is where carbs are broken down by the enzymes and taken in as saccharides from the intestines into the bloodstream. Garcinia acts as a carbohydrate neutralizer. And so if this is taken like 10 or 15 minutes before a meal, it has a chance to make its way into the intestinal tract. As sugars are introduced, it binds with those sugars before they have a chance to be broken down by the enzymes, and they're eliminated with the waste. So it actually blocks the uptake of carbohydrates. And that's how it works to lower the blood sugar issues, at least one of the uh, mechanisms behind lowering the blood sugar issues in the body. This is extremely powerful, more so than Chai Design or any of the other products, fiber-based products that were available, you know, years and years ago. Garcinia is far more effective because it does it through multiple portals or multiple entries. That saying, not just fiber binding, but antioxidation, and also binding as the sugars pass through the system. You know, not just binding it as it as it collects into the walls, but binding it before it has a chance to. That's extremely important. 
is it for weight loss? I mean, can you say that? Well, yeah, based upon what I've just told you, it is. But in combination, it has to be done in combination with wise eating. If you're going to load yourself down with refined carbohydrates, you're never going to be successful. I don't care if you swallow an entire bottle of this before each meal. It's not going to help you. You have to be smart about it, okay? So if you take one or two of these uh, you know, 20 minutes or 30 minutes before each meal, you know, twice daily, that's, that's the dosages, and that's good from age 12 through 100, and that's for casual weight loss. If you have more than just a casual issue going on here, and you're very addicted to food, which many, many of us are, you know, you may want to increase that dosage to two to three capsules four times daily. You want to do that probably with a little help, a little guidance from uh, one of our affiliate physicians or wellness coaches. Just make sure you're not overdoing it, and you'll know. You know how you'll know? Well, it's fiber, right? And if you're taking in too much fiber, there's a couple of things that might happen. One, you're going to go to the bathroom more often. And two, you may be a little bit gassy. If that happens, we may back off your dosages just a little bit until your body, you know, gets used to that level of fiber. Or we may put you back to a standard dosage. But those who have had some major issues with refined carbs, this is very safe. There's, the, the worst thing that will happen is you'll go to the bathroom more often. Sometimes the smallest step in the right direction ends up being the biggest step of your life. Tiptoe if you must, but take that step. It's a decision for you. It's not a decision for anyone else. So go ahead and do it. And use Garcinia as a means of helping you because I know I know how difficult it is out there. I know that there are, you know, tortilla chips and salsa before the meal. I know that there are things that get in the way as you go shopping that impulsively you pick them up because, let's face it, they taste good. So let's change your attitude toward food, increase more healthy living food, make better food choices, exercise regu regularly, get plenty of sleep, and drink lots of fluids, lots of water, good clean water, and take arsenic. Eat right, exercise regularly, get plenty of sleep, avoid stress, surround yourself with love, and take our best Garcinia as directed. Okay? You got questions? I'm sure you do. You can reach me at Dr. Stan at SanoGlobalNutrition.com, and I'll answer any questions you might have. I appreciate you watching. I will talk with you very soon. Bye for now.